Star, Part 4. Nicely done. We've landed on... Let me see... Metabelis 4. Ah, well. It's better than Metabelis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabelis 1 or 2. They were great. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. Well, now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. We're all ears. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. Turn and around, that first dummy. sentient being, let's call her the first. Well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations. That's a stupid looking hat. To eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now, I believe, she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell-bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. Wow, control issues much? She's not a god, and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. place. Hey, I don't want to be that guy, but I've already got some bad news. The sound of the blow across the surface of this planet is somehow blocking my Zyton readings. That means you're going to have to find the last time crystal the old school way. Great. You are welcome, visitors. Enjoy the serenity and grace of our world. Disembodied voices are a little sus. I think it's the planet itself welcoming us. Yeah, or it's a trap. I've had a quick squiz through the local archives, and this place is known as the Temple of the First. That can't be a coincidence. Look, I'm not jumping for joy at the prospect of going in there. But it is the most likely place to find the final crystal. We've got to check it out. This seems to be the entrance. So how do we get in?
There must be a way to activate this stone dais. any worse. Don't jinx us! got to go through those big doors. That's where you come in. Just push the gigantic button, man. There's no time like the present, mate. I know you're scared. I am too, but you know, upwards and onwards. slightest sound and we really need to get past this one and through that door if you wander into its light or get too close they'll attack like there's no tomorrow and if you die there may not be a tomorrow would you shut up to distract it somehow. Give him a minute to figure out how to throw a rock. Sensors indicate you are not a Dalek. You will be exterminated. Try distracting the Dalek. Sensors indicate... Several attempts later. from before. We can't reach the trigger from here. You'll have to improvise. That was a sissy throw. Activate. 
at it from a little way off. Let's see how good your aim is. Great shot! Nice one! Possible diversion detected! I will investigate and exterminate any opposition! Security sensors have locked possible di- Intruder detected! Identify yourself! The human has escaped! The intruder sanctioned The object has been scanned, assessed, and is understood! Oh good! They understand! The power source must be guarded! Okay, you guard that power source. A very long time later... Dalek Command reports there are intruders in the temple! Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed! You need to get it to move. Okay, doors open. Dalek's patrols in progress. All rebels will be located and executed. Harsh. The power source must be guarded. Quick, run for the door. Unsanctioned activity in temple. Investigate! Investigate! Maybe we could hop in and take a ride inside a Dalek. It'd be the perfect disguise. The perfect, highly weaponized, fully armored disguise. Yeah, man! Let's do this! Use your Sonic on the Dalek casing in the corner. Wrong one, dude. We need to reach that time crystal, but it looks like this is a dead end. It has a built-in toilet? Ha! Great minds really do think alike. Okay. I'm going to control the movement, because I'm pretty sure I'm a better driver than you. You take care of the shooty bits. And just so you don't freak, I've altered the power setting on the weaponry you'll be using. When you blast a Dalek, you're only taking out its casing. You're not actually killing the creature inside. Okay, let's go. Do this. The intruder must be eliminated.
Stop us, you garbage can wannabe. 
Casing. It's gone. Oh man. I was starting to feel at home in there. There must be a way to activate this stone dais. Gotta go in and see what's happening. Oh, this is what good. The... What's going on? The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out reality. Nothing? Okay. We're in the inner temple of the first. And here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful? You say it like it was a bad thing. Well, I mean, you are trying to destroy all life. Power in the right hands can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, Mother knows best. Conceded I only want to what is best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? Yes. The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Wow. Well, talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. That's an assassin's great thing. Duh. Back in the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals. Because she knew the first was watching her. And by extension, watching you. 
Those locations were the last things in the first's memory, and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The Doctor disguised the items, but all of them have something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. Okay, Maharishi Yogi. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Visualizing. Is there anything in there that looks familiar? It all looks familiar. Anything that stands out? Great. And our neural connection is strengthened. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second point. You got it. We need just one more piece. Which means one more memory. What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans? Yes. Ignore. Just find the third object and let's get out of here. If my readings are correct, the object we're after is disguised as a framed picture. You did it! We've got the final piece of the device. I'm gonna pull you back to the temple so we can put the three pieces together. We're back! Oh! What happened? You're a terrible mother! The objects, they're here. But what do we do now? You're too late. Don't you see that? I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. Don't expect flowers, help. Mom. Doctor, what now? My, my people, they reckoned the first might make it here someday. So they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first had been watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device.
Do any of you ever shut up? The first's been flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Damn it. Without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality has snapped back into place. But because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. She will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. Her threat will recur over and over. She will always return, which is why you must always be there to stop her. I'm Wait, taking you back what? to where it all started. The little Waldra in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I knew she might intercept some messages and knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was working with you. I only work with the best and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognise. Away from all this, she's living a happy life because of everything you did. And she is so grateful. Well, isn't that just nifty? We've landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. Where's the damn door? You're gonna have to do it all over again to save the universe. And what? steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential. But you'll be okay in a tick. Right. This is goodbye. For now, just two more things. One, thank you. Really, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well, that makes two of us. Screw this crap, I'm out. Do it your damn self.